my channel um, I decided to film today because I was just missing YouTube so I thought you know while I was getting ready why don't I film this video itself which is going to be obviously you know, a get ready with me video so let's start so first I'm going to use a primer so I'm using my favorite color bar perfect match primer yeah so I just own two primers and I'm gonna be trying out um, some new ones because I feel like buying a lot of makeup now I don't know buying a lot of um, different stuff and like just um, trying it out the shampoo enriched re revitalizing makeup long wear with SPF 18 it's made in Italy um, which is impressive and the shade is 301 enriched honey I thought you know it kind of uh, matched my skin tone I think it's slightly darker but I've kind of gotten tan these days you know now that the summers are here and I've been like out in the sun a lot just a lot so I'm just blending 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 mm, I also like to apply it on my eyelids then a little bit on my forehead mostly I concentrate the products in the center that was just like one little coat and it's already given me quite a lot of coverage I really like this foundation because it covers the pores really well and I think this is the first time I'm using it you know with a primer I need a little more coverage in the center of my face because that's where I have the maximum redness going on yes yeah, so the foundation is sort of done taking it down my neck also a little bit then we're going to move on to concealer and I'm going to be using Maybelline New York's Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand Sable. Yep. And we're going to do a triangle today. Ta -da. Na, 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 na. I want to scream and shout and get it all out. Scream. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's it, I guess. No, I don't need to do that because I already have those pretty highlighted. So, so I'm just going to blend it with my same foundation brush that I used. I'm just going to concentrate it here. Try not to move the brush around too much because we want the concealer to stay there and not be dragged elsewhere. Next, I'm going to be using the setting powder by e.l.f. This is the high definition under eye setting powder. Oh my god. Look what happened to it. This was in my travel kit and it's just gone everywhere. So much product got wasted. So I'm just setting the concealer with this under eye setting powder. And this really makes a difference, you know. In one of my videos, I think in one of my haul videos, or which videos was that I said it didn't work but it actually does it doesn't brighten up the eye area but it totally you know sets the product in place which is what I totally like about it so I'm just using the leftover product there we go it really mattifies you know sets slash mattifies maybe I should try using it on my nose it should work on my pores let's see if it does Next, I'm going to be taking just this powder, the One Ilio Skin Powder by Oriflame and I'm going to just dab it lightly all over my face just to set my foundation in place. I'm going to do my eye makeup later on. First, I feel like contouring my face. So I'm going to just simply take this bronzer today look what has happened to this bronzer it's just totally gone it's, and this is a body shop bronzing brush i'm just using it to contour my face today just a little bit oh too much have i put too much i think i have never mind i want to scream and shot. just contouring my jawline okay there we go there we go 
And for the sides of my nose, I'm going to use again this, this brush by Real Techniques. The same one that we used to set our under eye setting powder. I'm just going to simply contour my nose with it. This is really how I get ready. Make all kinds of mistakes, you know. And then I just go fix them up with some more powder. So there we go. Oh, I think it's kind of contoured now. And then I'm going to take and This is darker. Is this side darker? I don't know. We'll leave it I think um, this area needs a little bit of powder. Just to kind of highlight it. Because I did not put any brightener over there. So I'm just going to take a little bit of powder and kind of just bring out that jaw there we go it is blended done 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 okay so what am i going to do now contouring is done a little bit of blush i'm using just one brush for everything if you can see so again i'm going to use this blush by go to the city palette i like using it and today i'm going to go for this pinky color this bright fuchsia pink color sorry wrong thing now this bright fuchsia pink color that's what I'm gonna go for today that's just this is very this like this product is very pigmented makeup revolution stuff is like super duper pigmented stuff so you've got to be a bit careful with it make a fish face Okay, let's go bold with the cheeks, bold with the eyes, and very, very mild with the lips. Can we do that? Though I really wanted to do like a bold lip today. What should I do? I'm just so not being able to decide it today. A little on the nose, a little on the chin, just to connect all the color together. A little on the ta ta There we go, there we go. I really wanted to go bold on the lips today, so I'm going to use this shade uh, Sugar by Sugar Cosmetics Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick in Zura 2 Mary Poppins, my favorite shade. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna use it. Okay, so I've pulled out my really old Lotus lip liner. This is in the shade 52 Red Fire. And there it is. It's a maroony color. I'm just gonna see, you know, how it looks with this bright plum fuchsia lipstick. Like maybe it kind of gives me a little ombre. Let's just see ombre effect. Um, what happens? Let's see. I think it worked fine. You know, just finished doing the lips, and um, the cheeks are done, and now the eyebrows because I want to do. Um, Something creative with my eyelids today. Not the eyebrows now. Let me try this black color by Bourjois. I want to go like all bold. Look how black it is. It's like super duper black matte, dry black matte color. The brow brush, right? So I'm going on, I mean, I'm going with the black color there and there. This is like a jet black matte black color and the reason why I'm not using brown today because I am in experimentation mood I don't know how's it looking so it's looking fine on camera in real life it's looking a little too dark but I think it's looking fine on camera maybe that's the look we're gonna go for today like who knows I'm again going to use the same blending brush, Lux Petit Crease 231 brush by Zoeva. And I'm going to take this matte black color. And I'm closing my eyes. And I have nothing on my eyelids. So I'm just simply going to take this black color in the outer corner. And in the crease. More concentrated. You know, in the outer corner, of course. 
and less towards the crease and I'm just blending it lightly. Okay. I just had like a little inspired thought so I'm going to I think it would still look good in the end I don't know you should act on your inspiration always if you have you know an inspiring thought you should act on it most of my videos are like that and just blending a little bit upwards and in the crease um, towards the lower lash line, you know, in a V kind of a fashion, taking a little more color, intensifying the outer part a little bit, trying to get it to match with the other side. And there we go. And then we're going to take the same black color. Let's take this little brush, this little flat brush. And I'm going to take this on the lower lash line. Okay, completely on the lower lash line. Just leaving the innermost part. What I'm going to do is I am going to take a brush. I need like a small brush like this, a tiny one and a stiff one and a flat one. And I'm going to take a little palette. I have this lid from, you know, um, a container. And I'm going to take a little bit of this glue. This is the silver one and this is the blue one. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of this blue one and take a little bit of this silver one. And I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to just pat it. In the center. Keep it more concentrated in the center, and then you can kind of just very, very gently with a very gentle hand applying very little pressure, you can just move towards um, the outer corners or I would say the crease area, and then just uh, try not to mess it, mess the outer corner work that you've done. So there we go. Next, um, I think this this just this lipstick is looking too much, so I need to kind of lighten it up because the glitter is really intense. I didn't really expect it to be that intense, so we're gonna lighten up the lipstick. I'm gonna do the lips later on. So now I'm gonna take this purpley eyeshadow from the again, you know, this go to the city palette, this purpley one, and maybe mix a little bit of this gray one, gray, purple. And a little bit of the green as well because I have kind of green, purple and grey flowers on my dress. We're going to just smoke um, it on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I'll simply use my Maybelline Hyper Glossy. It's called Hyper Glossy. Everything is just rubbed off. It's so, so much loved. Like... You can do like a dramatic cat eye or just any kind of any kind of like look you want to go for. I always end up going for just a light wing, you know, in the end. There we go. Kind of made a double eyeliner. Let's go for a third one. There we go. Oh my god. I think it's looking good. One, two, and three. Several wings in the end. being very I, I was just very creative today I just wanted to do something crazy and creative I think it needs one more wing there we go I'm gonna use a little bit of kajal this is the colossal kajal 
and I'm going to put it on my lower waterline. Okay guys, so I just put on a little bit of lashes and completed the cool in my waterline. And now I'm going to lighten the lip because this lip is definitely looking just too bold for the look. So I'm going to go with this color called as Bare Pink. And this is, you know, a shade by Lakme Absolute, uh, from the Lakme Absolute range. And this is what I'm going to go for. And the glitter is kind of all falling off. This is the color bare pink with that, you know, on the base it has that bright fuchsia color that we previously applied but then removed it. And then I'm going to top it off with this uh, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Istanbul. So that is the color and so that's the completed makeup. It's a little OTT but I kind of like it and I'm just going to puff off my hair a little bit because they seem too stuck on my head. Okay, so I'm using this dry shampoo by Be Blunt and it's really good at soaking up the oil and you know kind of volumizing the hair. I've done like a full review on it so you might like to check it out. And I'm just spraying it. It kind of makes your hair really white at the roots. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. And we do not have to touch it. We have to leave it for two minutes and it's going to soak up all the oil. And then after that, you can just like rub it in your scalp and it's going to volumize your hair. It's, I didn't wait for two minutes though because I don't have that kind of patience. I'm a very impatient person. My dad always used to tell me, patience is a virtue, you know. It is a virtue which you should have. You should cultivate if you don't have it, so. <laughs> Whatever. So there we go. You know, this hairstyle kind of looks like Princess Jasmine kind of a thing. But she has like more contouring going on in her eyes, so maybe we can do that. Maybe we can do a little bit of brown contouring, so I know, I know what to do. I'm going to use this Sleek Makeup UK palette. This is the Garden of Eden palette. And um, I'm going to take this brown color right here. And this color is called as Entwine. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush, this black one itself. I'm going to wipe off the black pigment a little bit. Pick up this brown color and kind of just go in the crease a little bit to make this look a little more dramatic there we go there we go and extending this color a little bit down you know sides of my nose That's it. this is gonna just deepen my um, it's gonna look like I have like a really prominent nose and really deep set eyes okay and then I need to highlight the inner corner of my eyes which I forgot again I always forget this step. So I'm going to take this golden color and the name of this color is Gates of Eden and I'm going to put this in, you know, just in the inner corner of my eyes. Close my eyes and just put it there. Since this look has kind of just uh, turned really dramatic now so we might as well do all the steps and extend it a little bit on the lower lash line. In a corner, a little bit on the bone. <sighs> bone that sounded really weird. <laughs> there we go. So that's all for.
folks if you enjoyed watching this video then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel do not forget to hit the like button it really helps keep my videos out there don't forget to check all my social media links down below okay i'll see you soon with another video bye